What's up guys, Chris Fergala here with the Scoville unit. I wanted to take a minute. Everybody that is watching these videos, please understand the challenges that I partake in are by my choice. They can be extremely harmful, if not deadly, to people if they do not know what they are doing. So please, do not try this at home. Burn it down! Come on, people, it is Friday evening, 7 p.m. Put your kids to bed, turn your TVs on, and throw on the Scoville unit. Boomer, go lay down, Bubba. What's up, Ryan? Uh, come on, where's everybody at? Where's everybody at? Uh, four people. We'll get two more people on here, and I'll get started. Hopefully, people jump in as we go. I wanted to be on here. Oh, I got here about 7 o'clock, like I said I was going to. Uh, I had to eat quick, because I haven't eaten yet today. So I ate maybe 15 minutes ago. Something something that'll help with the probably cap cramps I'm most likely going to get from this one. I'm at the point now where I just anticipate it. and uh, Oh no, I have squirping. There's no bueno. So... What's up, Jason? Thank you for coming on, man. So the eye of the scorpion shot, uh, it was I was fine. Uh, I literally got off, and I like threw my stuff and said, nope, that's not staying down. I went to the bathroom, tried throwing up, could not throw up. It stopped hurting after about 10 minutes. Went outside to start cooking on the grill. What's up, Pete? Went out to start cooking on the grill. I'm standing there, standing there. And all of a sudden, I just like took two steps to the side, turned my head, and it was just like, ah. So, it, it definitely came back out. But, well worth it. So, I'm going to get started here. we got five people on. Hopefully, people jump on. Uh, guys, welcome to another installment of the Scoville Unit. I am Chris Gully, and I am the Scoville Unit. I want to thank you for joining me here on your Friday evening. I have my computer up here, so it may be a little delayed for me to see everybody's uh, comments. I will try to keep up with them as I roll, but I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, we are joined here by six people as of now. I'm seeing, uh, hello Helen. So I got Pete from Extreme Heat P. I got Today's Adventures, Ryan and Lee. We got Jason from Late for Work. I'm not sure who else is on here right now, but let's get rolling here. Uh, if you have not seen my video from earlier today, I am here to take on a challenge because that is how it is. And I'm going to throw this out there. Hashtag challenges our life. So we are here today to take on the first official challenge from Party of Two. Uh, Kirk and Stephanie whipped this bad boy together. Yes, Portia is very thirsty. She finds it necessary to eat and drink while I'm doing my videos. So just understand she's the queen of the house besides Beth and Boomer's kind of just hanging out over there on the blanket, half asleep. So, Portia, everybody can hear you chewing. Party of Two has put together this awesome little package here. It is called the Hot Pot of Gold Challenge. All right. Guys, if you have not checked out Party of Two yet, please head over to their Facebook page and their YouTube channel at Party of Two. Uh, this is what is in here. All right, we got some cool little stuffing in there to keep it safe. We got some party of two wristbands. And this little pot is adorable. Great job on this, guys. So I'm going to read the rules and the ingredients. Party of two hot pot of gold challenge rules go as follows. All six pieces of chocolate must be consumed without food or drink. Excuse you. Eat the chocolate one at a time with a 30 second burn time in between each piece. After the sixth piece of chocolate has been eaten, you must endure a five minute burn time. Title your video Hot Pot of Gold Challenge slash Party of Two. I hereby agree to release the creator of this chocolate challenge from liability. You agree that you are participating in this challenge consuming the hot or spicy chocolate your own free will. Yes, I am doing this out of my own free will. I relieve Party of Two from any liability 
on anything that happens to me. Uh, let's see. I'm looking forward to doing this. Uh, let's see. Jason, that's awesome. I can't wait to see you guys do it. FRS2 thing is pretty too. So, con this chocolate contains Dragon's Breath Peppers, Habanero Peppers, Thai Chilies, Carolina Reaper Powder, and 1.5 million Scoville Unit Natural Pepper Extract. So I'm very excited to take this on because we all know me. I love my heat. Hence why I always put hashtag for the love of heat. So I'm going to open this. Oh, it has little green things in here too. Let's see. Get the contents out. So, in other words, now, I'm going to, I have my timer here. I have it set for 30 seconds. I'm actually going to put this out as a decoration. A decoration, I said. I was actually, before I, while I was eating, I was watching uh, one, Heat 101 take on the Death Nuts. They did very good at that. Bravo to them, bravo to them. Alright, so, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is Party of Two Presents, the Hot Pot of Gold Challenge. Remember, to everybody, do not try this stuff at home. Unless you're into that kind of thing. Hey, you're on pretty well. So, first piece of chocolate. What I did notice when I was watching the video is this chocolate has a reddish tint to it. So, that is how you know it's going to be hot. All right, my, my bad. <clears throat> ha! Ha! All right, first piece of chocolate. You got a little piece of clover here. I'm going to take this down mighty quick. All right, in three, two, one. Hot pot of gold challenge. Good flavor. <clears throat> I bit my lip earlier today, or the, my cheek. Kirk, thank you very much for sending this to me. You guys are awesome. All of you out there, I love you all. Uh, I, I'm so happy I met all of them uh, that I'm collabing with and talking to and working with. It, it, this is awesome. Um, it really shows that there is a lot of good people still out there that... Media is just full of shit. All right, second piece of chocolate going down. Number two. Chili community has changed my life, too, um, in more ways than one. Not only did I meet a lot of friends, but I am officially not on a normal shitting schedule. So, thank you, Chili community. <laughs> Guys, I got a lot of cool stuff coming. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Uh, 30 seconds is up. I didn't even have time to talk. I swear, 31 years and I still haven't figured out how to swallow my spit. Piece number three. <laughs> ah. Yeah, there is no normality in that whatsoever. It's kind of like... Uh, it's danger protocol when I sneeze. We'll just put it that. Operation hash or operation poop shoot, we'll call it. This is very delicious chocolate. I'm not gonna lie. So I did eat. Uh, I showed my video before that all the stuff I got. I ate my fire pig chocolate earlier. I was not 100% thrilled by the taste of the chocolate. I am a Hershey chocolate flavor kind of person. 
I, I think there's some kind of weird taste when it comes to some chocolates that I can't enjoy. The bake had definitely saved it. Number four. It is very good, Kirk. You did a good job on it, pal. Kirk, I'm going to have to send out uh, my challenge that I'm working on with uh, jerky once it's done. Uh, next one's down, 30 seconds. Uh, once we get the final setup for that, I'm going to get some stuff out. Uh, again, guys, my nose is running a little bit, but I'm all right. Uh, I actually have the challenge sitting right here. I'm not doing anything I'm not supposed to be. I don't cheat. But anyways, here's the challenge right here, guys. Uh, I'm working with today's adventure and late for work on this one. Uh, just for a name basis. 30 seconds up. Four, uh, fifth piece of chocolate going down. Now, this is going to be called the three stages of hell. It is beef jerky. First stage is late for work. Uh, it is a strawberry mango habanero with devil's blood extract. The second round is today's adventure. It is a pineapple scorpion pepper with my 1.5 million scorpion extract. And then the uh, last round is called the Scoville unit, that is Carolina Reapers, Scorpions, Habaneros, and the Plutonium number nine. So this bad boy is probably about nine million Scoville units. That's that one. Last piece of chocolate going down in a five minute burn time. Oh, Steph, you don't have a choice. Last piece is down. Five minute bird time has started. Again, this challenge is brought to you by Party of Two. Yeah, I'm really excited for this challenge. I will be, will be taking donations for it. When the time comes, all proceeds will go to the Brianna Smarkuski Memorial Scholarship Fund. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to work out a price. Uh, Eric, I actually did the Twisted Jerky Challenge uh, a couple months back. I was mistaken, and I did the Scythe first instead of the Grim Reaper. Uh, it put me down for a little bit. It was quite rough. D d make no mistake, Twisted Jerky has the best jerky. Mine's chump change compared to his. I just needed to figure something out. I'm going to make a jerky, but nowhere near it as good as Twisted Jerky's. Don't, I'm not taking his thunder by any means. So, what am I feeling right now when it comes to this burn? Um, this is where the difference is in abilities to take tolerance. I'm tolerant for hot stuff. Uh, I've watched two separate channels do this challenge already, obviously. Kirk and Stephanie did this. Uh, poor Steph didn't even make it to the second bar of chocolate. I'm surprised she wasn't laying on the floor. Uh, Kirk powered, you powered through it, man. It was awesome. Uh, this level of heat is, I don't want to say my nuke because I do have some nose runnings. My mouth really is not on fire. But this is a very good challenge. Okay, you made it through two. I'm sorry, Steph. You made it through two. My mistake. Uh, this challenge is a very good challenge. This challenge would put a lot of people down that aren't used to heat. Um, so I'm very, very happy with the outcome of this challenge. Uh, not just from my reaction-wise, but... Yes, that is my mother creeping behind me. Oh, man. <laughs> but, Kirk, Steph, you guys did an awesome job on this. This is definitely... A great challenge for people to take on. Uh, awesome with the design of it. Uh, the packaging is fantastic. Uh, I think a lot of people on the market would be happy to try this out. So congratulations to you guys for this awesome product. 
as soon as I can get this set up, ready to go, uh, I said, uh, Jason, Brian, Lee, I sent out the next round uh, today. So you guys should have that by Monday. I still got two minutes left in my afterburn. The heat's already pretty much gone. Yes, yeah, so you guys did a party too. I, I'm not kidding. You guys did an awesome job on this. This setup was great. I'm actually going to keep this stuff. I'm going to put this up on my... Come on. I'm actually going to put this up here. You are on my wall of flame. Anybody else on this that sees this, that watches this, that follows me, that just drops in and sees it, if you guys have a challenge, you create it, whether it be a hot sauce, a food, a chocolate, a chip, anything. If you want to see if I can take it down and you want to see how I'm going to react to it, please feel free to send me a message and request information to send it. Uh, I'm always up for trying any challenges, as you can see. I do it right away, and especially if another channel sends it to me, I'm going to make sure it's live because I want to be as public about this as possible. Now, I got 38 seconds on my burn time. Working on sauce shots. Eric, I will be more than happy to try that out. Uh, I can't wait to review your sauces. And like I said, next weekend, the 27th, the next installment of Tipping the Scale, we will have Pete from Extreme Heat Pete on live from the UK. We will be trying out six bottles of sauces, which you guys saw in my prior live. So I can't wait to share that all with you guys. Uh, the following month, May. Hold on. I'm having a brain fart. I'm having a brain fart here. Okay, we're in March. Okay, April is going to be late for work. And then May, I will be having my first guest reappearing on the channel, Shane Ackernes. He will be on for the May installment. And we will be doing it from Casa de la Ackernes, right pull side. So I can't wait for it to get nice out to do the May installment. I'm really excited to do the next couple months worth of stuff. I booked all the way out to July for guests, so that's awesome. I want to thank you all for being a part of this. Again, this was... The Party of Two Challenge Box, the Hot Pot of Gold Challenge. Big thumbs up on that one, guys. Awesome. So, without anything else going on here, showing off my jerky, talked about the other stuff, I want to thank you all for being here, spending some of your Friday night with me. I hope you all have a great weekend. And just remember, Monday, the next video will be posted. That will be a video with myself and Miss Scoville unit in it. Can't wait for you guys to watch that one. That one was pretty interesting. So, guys, have a great night. As always, I'm Christopher Golly, and I'm the Scoville Unit. And this is where the topics are hot. And the pot of gold is even hotter. Have a great night. The Scoville Unit is proud to announce that it'll be hosting the annual Brianna Smarkuski Memorial Scholarship Fund. On January 12, 2017, Brianna unexpectedly passed away from a pulmonary embolism. Brianna was a resident of Nicholson, Pennsylvania, and was a graduate of Wilkes University. She was involved in the pre-med group where she helped raise awareness for Alzheimer's and helped the biology club with education about animals. She graduated with a bachelor's degree in biology. When she finished, she planned on attending grad school to become an optometrist. Donations will be accepted through Venmo at the Scoville Unit, PayPal at Scoville Unit. Goal is $2,500. Thank you for any donations that you can put forward. God bless you all. This video is brought to you by IntelliGreen. Safe today, bright tomorrow. Protect your space with the IntelliGreen Entry Management Product Family. Check them out at IntelliGreen.net or on Facebook at IntelliGreen. And by using the promo code SCOVILLEUNIT, you could save 10% off of your first purchase. And by Sanity Check Ventures, an experienced business process outsourcing company specializing in purchasing, engineering, project management, and project financing. Check them out at SanityCheckVentures.com.